Hello there. Today I'm going to go through some additional features of the Well Profile module within Hydrogeo Analyst or HGA. I'm going to use the demo project so you can follow along if you'd like. Remember, you launch the Well Profile module from this button here and it launches as a tab. If you want to look into a certain section of your Well Profile in more detail, you can use the Zoom In feature. For example, I'm going to zoom in here from 5 to 20 and you can get a better understanding of what's going on in that particular section. Of course when you're done you hit the zoom out button to go back to your full profile. If you encounter difficulties while working within the well profile module keep an eye down at the bottom of the window. We have incorporated a message board that will display helpful information to resolve common issues you might encounter like when certain settings are not mapped or assigned. Did you know that you can show your well profiles on a cross-section? This can aid you when you're doing your cross-section interpretation. You will want to keep your well profile simple if you're going to show it on a cross-section. So here we're going to use the template called Resistivity Plot Only. When you select the Export to Cross-Section button, you can choose to export the well profile images for wells on a single cross-section or for all the wells in all the cross-sections. Keep in mind this may take a little longer depending on how many cross-sections you have. Now let's launch cross-section CC. Under the Tools menu you will find the option to display well profile. You can select which wells you want to display. In this case I know wells 1, 4, and 5 have good plots. And there you can see the resistivity plot on the cross-section to aid you while doing your interpretations. Let's go back to the Well Profile module now and learn about printing options. HGA comes with PowerPoint templates to print your Well Profiles to. Let's take a look at the Station Group template. This template is used to print all the Well Profiles for the currently selected Station Group. You can adjust things like the logo or make changes to the footer. This template will automatically pull the station name, X and Y coordinates, elevation and topic casing from the database for each station and include it on the slide. Let's close it and try using this template. Select the Print to PowerPoint option and then select the Browse button to indicate where you want to save your new template. You have two options. You can save it to the project tree. This is convenient and makes it easy to find later. Or you can save it somewhere else. This option might be used when you're testing things out. Today we will save it to the project tree. And just indicate the name and select OK. Then we'll select the station group template we were just looking at and we want to indicate to print the boreholes with plot data station group. The resulting PowerPoint has five slides, one for each of the stations in the station group. And you can scroll through the slides and review before printing. Now what if you wanted to add other fields from the database into the header? This can be done by creating a new PowerPoint template, but you will need a query with the fields that you want. Here's an example where I pull the station name, the station type, and the installation date. When creating a query for this purpose, be sure to design it so that it pulls only one row for each station in the station group. The easy way to do this is to restrict the query to the same station group you're planning on printing. So, to create the new PowerPoint template, you are going to start with a base template. We provide this for you with the HGA installation. Then you provide a name for your new template and then you want to select the query that we designed that contains the fields that you want to add to the PowerPoint template. You'll end up getting a PowerPoint template where the fields are provided as tags and you can move them around, adjust them how you want within the template. If you want, you can adjust things like here, I'm going to move the station name and I'm going to make this larger and more obvious within the template. Once you have finished making your adjustments, be sure to save and close this template and then when you go to print your well profiles you will find it's available. So back in the well profile select print to PowerPoint and indicate where you want to save the report. Then you're going to select the new template that you just created from the drop down. The stations that will be printed are based on the query you use to design the template. And in this case, you'll get the five slides again, but you can see the new fields that have been included in the header. 
Those were some additional features of the WellProfile module within 100 GeoAnalyst. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.